Hi everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black. Thanks for joining t me today as we take a peek at the brand new stamps from Penny Black's newest collection called Nature's Art. All of these new products are now available in our online store, which I will link for you down in the YouTube description box below. And really quick before we begin, I just wanted to mention that this video is designed to help you take a closer peek at our new collection and share some tips and hints as to how some of the cards were created. But don't worry, we will also have instructional videos coming soon that feature some of these new products and card designs. So let's start today by taking a closer look at our new brush stroke stamps. Brush stroke stamps are really some of my favorites to work with because they can give the look of hand painted no line watercolor. This stamp ravishing is so bold. Here I stamped it twice, fussy cut each flower and then layered them onto my card using dimensional adhesive. This cling stamp called Flower Field is also really versatile. I colored mine to look like poppies, but I think this would look really pretty with each flower being a different color. Oh, and just a note before we go any further, I do want to mention that you will see a complete list of Penny Black product numbers used on each card shown on screen in light gray. Any of those product numbers can be referenced in the Penny Black online store or the website. And I love the shape and really the elegant leaves on this cling stamp called Garden Gems. I fussy cut my flowers after stamping them and added them to my sentiment panel using dimensional adhesive. This stamp called Summer Dream is really so pretty. I think it lends itself to being positioned on your cards in many different orientations, giving it a totally different look each time that you use it. And finally, this cling stamp, Apples, has the same great quality as our brush stroke flowers, only the image is an apple instead. I think this stamp would be great for teacher thank you cards and projects. And if you're looking for techniques for stamping these types of brush stroke images, I recently made a series of videos called Brush Stroke Basics, where I shared some of my favorite tech brush stroke stamping techniques. And I'll be sure to link to those videos down in the YouTube description box below. Now, this new collection also includes some of our favorite critters and characters that are enjoying nature's art. And on this first transparent set called Birthday Critters, it is just so fun when you look at each little critter on there. I love the uniqueness of each critter and all of their different accessories. Here I colored the mouse with Copic markers, fussy cut it, and added it to my die cut and inked background scene. And even though this stamp is called Birthday Critters, they certainly can be used for a variety of occasions as shown on this congratulations card. Next we have a few cute kiddo stamps. And these always make me smile. I think this girl from our miniature transparent set, A Good Friend, is just too sweet. And I love that sentiment too. What a great card to send to a friend for just a just because card. And here's another cute kiddo enjoying her new birthday wheels. For this card, I colored my image with Copic markers, fussy cut it, and added it to an inked and stamped background. And we can't forget our furry friends. This miniature three by four inch transparent set, Gentle Thoughts, has such a heartwarming image. I love how we see the back of this pair as they look off into the distance. And this offers so many design possibilities for unique and fun backgrounds. I think a colorful sunrise or sunset background would also be so nice with this stamp. Now these next three stamps feature our fashionistas. I not only love that this gal from our cling stamp, All Fours, has such a fun outfit to color, but her collection of dogs really makes me smile. And the sentiment can be used any time of year for cards sent to dog lovers. Next up is our miniature three by four inch transparent set called Fashion Call. And here I stamped it onto watercolor paper and then I painted it in using Distress Ink reinkers used as watercolors. And finally, we haven't forgotten our cat loving friends either with this miniature three by four inch transparent set balancing act. 
I colored my image with Copic markers, fussy cut it, and then added it to a die cut and inked background scene. Now with a name like Nature's Art, we couldn't help but have a garden of elegant floral stamps included in the collection. For these next few cards, I wanted to show the versatility of these stamps. Just by altering the color scheme, type of medium, and the orientation on the card, they can be given a totally different look each time that you use them. So this cling stamp, Summer Glow, is really fun to color. I feel like there's just the perfect amount of open area on the petal and leaves to really let your shading take center stage. And on this card, I colored it with Copic markers, fussy cut it, and fussy cut it before adding it to my inked background. But on this next variation, I stamped it directly to a piece of watercolor paper a couple of times with light antique linen distress ink and then painted it and colored it in using watercolor pencils. Now for this cling stamp rose bowl, I colored it with Copic markers and also combined it with just a few branch die cuts and a background that was inked with rich saturated color. But for a lighter, airier approach, here I stamped the rose bowl with antique linen distress ink and then painted and colored it in with watercolor pencils. Next, we'll take a look at a few transparent sets. Each of these is loaded with gorgeous floral images, as you can see on this set called Ebullient. And for a totally different look using this same stamp set, I stamped some here are the some of the smaller blooms around the perimeter of my card in antique linen distress ink and painted and colored them in with watercolored pencils. Now this stamp, which has the name of our collection, Nature's Art, also offers a really wide range of possibilities. I was excited to use as many of as the blooms as possible on one card, as you can see here. And although I haven't had a chance to color it yet, I can't wait to create a card with the gorgeous butterfly that's included in this set. Now I used the flowers from this set, Radiant, on several different cards. So here I stamped the large spray of flowers and painted them in with Distress Ink reinkers used as watercolors. On this set of cards, which I'll show the complete set in each card near the end of the video, I use some of the smaller flowers from the Radiant set to create one-of-a-kind uh, cups. And for a totally different look, here I stamp the single flower from the Radiant set in an all-over pattern on our new window treatments die. Now, I really enjoy the look of a vase or a bouquet of flowers on cards, and this miniature 3 by 4 inch transparent set, Tranquility, has the most elegant look. I just love that vase and the simplicity of those flowers. And this miniature 3 by 4 inch transparent set, Appreciation, is also really fun to color. On this card, I colored it with Copic markers and then lightly inked the background with distress, antique linen distress ink using an ink blending tool and a foam pad. And I also think this stamp would look really nice heat embossed in white and then colored in. And if you look closely at this graduation card, you can see that I've stamped that same floral stamp repeatedly to create a subtle all over background design. And our elegant floral stamps don't always have to be used on elegant cards. So here I've used the cling stamp Tranquil Buds to create a background for this little sweetie riding by on her bike. And finally, I have one more floral style stamp to share. This is our miniature three by four inch transparent set called Branch of Love. And on this set of mini cards, I first stamped the branch in the lower left-hand corner and embossed it with colored embossing powder. I then added inks to my background using an ink blending tool and a foam pad. And once dry, I also stamped the branch using the same inks that were used to sponge the background, just to get a variation in the colors and the inked background. And if you look closely at the top left and bottom right hand corners of this card, you'll also see that branch again. I think this stamp adds just the right amount of visual texture and a tone on tone look to finish off a card and a background. So I hope you're still hanging in there with me as I know this video is a bit longer than most, but I am really excited to share these new stamps with you. So next up are some with our feathered friends. 
For my first feathery card, I stamped this cling stamp flower perch onto watercolor paper and painted it using Distress Ink reinkers used as watercolors. I also added very light music note stamping to the background to give it a bit of a vintage feeling. And for a totally different look using the same stamp, here I fussy cut the bird and some of the flowers and added them to my die cut window scene. And here are two more really beautiful birds in this cling stamp called Sing Song. For my card, I stamped my image in antique linen distress ink and then painted and colored it with a variety of watercolor paints. And I also added additional shading and details with colored pencils once it was dry. Now, after peeking at all of these new stamps, perhaps it is time for tea and a look at just one more really fun set. Introducing our transparent set, Cup of Tea, which is filled to the brim with so many great sentiments. Here I've perched a hot cup on this die cut window ledge, enticing the card's recipient to enjoy a little tea and sunshine. And on this next set of cards, I've used the same overall card design, but featured different sentiments from this set on each one. And I really think that this set of cards would make a really fun gift set to give someone that they could use and send out themselves. You could even accompany them with a gift of tea or a new fun teacup or coffee cup. So thanks again for taking a peek at the stamps from our new collection, Nature's Art. Be sure to visit our blog for more details about this release and stay tuned for a second video coming very soon where I will be sharing a closer look at the creative dies which are part of this collection. And again, all of these products are now available in our online store. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can connect with Penny Black on our website, blog, Facebook page, on Instagram, Twitter, shop our online store, and see lots of card making tutorials here on our YouTube channel. And I've linked to all of these for you down in the YouTube description box below. Happy stamping!